hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode i'm going to show you how we can create water aura effect using the unity particle system so let's get started start by creating a new particle system and rename it to water aura underscore particle system reset its transform and set its y value to 2 duration to 1 and inside renderer set the max particle size to 3 then set the lifetime to 0 0.5 maybe set the lifetime to random between two constants 0 0.5 and 1 and start speed would be random between two constants 0 0.5 and 1 start size would also be random between two constants and the values would be 0 0.1 and 0 okay the rotation would also be random between two constants the values would be 0 and 360 and the color is something like this a lighter tone of purple and blue next thing is set the simulation space to world and uh, inside emission set emission to zero and check burst and add the values this count would be one and the cycles would be 20 interval would be 0 0.050 and that's it shape is a sphere radius is 0 0.52 scale of y is 1.5 now next is velocity over lifetime and the linear y value would be 1 okay then next is size over lifetime we need a shape like this one add a keyframe here drag and drop this here and like this something like this now check noise our strength is 0 0.1 frequency is 1 scroll speed is 0 0.2 three and uh, that's it now we need a bubble texture for this i have this one that i have downloaded downloaded from google so create a new material and rename it to bubble underscore matte sets its shader to legacy shader particles additive and drag and drop your bubble here drag and drop your bubble material to this one and that's it you can see bubbles showing up now create a new particle system and rename it to glow underscore particle system set the max particle size to 3 set the y position to minus 1 duration to 1 lifetime to 1.5 speed would be 0.001 size would be 1.6 color would be a darker blue okay then uh, emission is a burst of one And uh, shape would remain cone with an angle of 0 and radius of 0 0.01. Okay, so the y position to minus 0 0.2 and rotation on x would be minus 90 degrees. Then check color over lifetime. Set both of these to 0. Here in renderer, select stretched billboard, 
one scale is minus 1.8 now create a new effect and rename it to water underscore particle system set the max particle size to 3 then we have duration of 1 lifetime to random between two constants 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 speed would be random between two constants 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 size would also be random between two constants and the values would be 1 and 1.5 rotation would be random between two constants and the values will be 0 and 360 next is color is again this something like this uh, darker blue and the other one will be a gray color emission would be 15 inside shape the shape is sphere okay and the radius is 0 0.1 set this y value of scale to 3 and uh, limit velocity over lifetime speed to zero and dampen to 0 0.1 color over lifetime would be this size over lifetime would be this looks better then we have rotation over lifetime and the values would be random between two constant minus 30 and 30 now we need a water wave texture so head back to photoshop create a new file of 512 by 512 Paint the background with black, create a new layer, select a brush tool and select this one and paint waves. Make sure the color is white, paint some water wave. Select bending options. to glow okay hide the background and save it as a PNG or oh, drag and drop it into your unity project alpha is transparency duplicate this one and rename it to faves underscore mat drag and drop your waves drag and drop this one here now check texture sheet animation and uh, it is a grid of 2 by 2 and uh, this would be between two constants 0 and this one now restart it and I don't really like the color of the glow let's change it to something like this and that's it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video goodbye